so hello friends this is our next video on the drugs which is acting on the cns that is sedatives and hypnotics as we have discussed many drugs such as barbiturates benzodiazepines in our previous video anti epileptic drugs in our previous video okay now sedatives and hypnotics are given for the treatment of insomnia okay now the first point that if gaba is stimulated gaba a receptor is stimulated then it will lead to chlorine influx and that will cause negative potential generation and that will uh, cause ras suppression and that will induce sleep and it is used for the treatment of insomnia okay and under this group your benzodiazepines and barbiturates will come okay benzodiazepines is frequently used and barbiturates are rarely used for this okay so and uh, benzodiazepines and barbiturates we have discussed in details about in our previous video about benzodiazepines and barbiturates so please go and watch those videos to clear your concepts now what are the side effects of this benzodiazepines and barbiturates side effect of, is your abuse potential okay their abuse potential benzodiazepines and barbiturates abuse potential is their side effects okay so in sedative and hypnotics first group of drug is benzodiazepines second group of drug is barbiturates third group of drug is j drugs okay it is known as j drugs it is also gaba receptor modulator okay gaba gaba receptor modulator now what is the binding sites of the j drug so it will bind next to benzodiazepine benzodiazepine binding site okay it will bind just next to the benzodiazepine binding site it is omega binding site okay it has less efficiency in compared to benzodiazepines it has less side effect as compared to benzodiazepines and one important property that it has no abuse potential okay it suppresses ras but it has no effect on locus ceruleus clear it has no risk of uh, depression of your respiratory system that is uh, listening of the respiratory rate or vasomotor center it has wide therapeutic index so they are safe to use so due to these reasons they are they are frequently used clear and because of this reason because of this reason they are the drug of choice for the insomnia okay so if you are asked drug of choice for the insomnia the answer will be j drugs okay but what drugs you can give for insomnia benzodiazepines barbiturates and j drug now what are the j drugs so jolpidem jopiclone s jopiclone and jaleplone okay because the name is starting from j so they are known as j drugs okay jolpidem jopiclone and jaleplone clear it has intermediate tea half and it has minimum side effect okay and it is most commonly used jolpidem is the most commonly used drug now jopiclone or s jopiclone it it has more efficacy it is long they are longest acting so because of longest acting they have side effect as hangover okay and it can modify sleep okay pattern of long if uh, it can modify your sleep pattern okay because they are longest acting clear so now moving to the next the next drug is your jaleplone okay this is the shortest acting uh, no hangover is there preferred in early insomnia okay and it has less efficiency so increase risk of late night sleep disturbances because they are le less efficient and it is preferred in patients involved in critical work such as drivers okay now if dose is increased of all this drug then it can cause toxicity toxicity will be indicated by uh, decrease in the uh, respiratory rate and suppression of the vasomotor center okay and for this flumagenil flumagenil is the drug of choice this is non specific antagonist okay and this is and this will bind to omega site clear and flumagenil is the drug of choice remember this now the next group after gaba a stimulators the next is your melatonin receptor agonist okay melatonin can uh, bind to mt1 receptor or m22 mt1 receptor stimulation will lead to induction of sleep and so they can treat insomnia mt2 mt2 uh, receptors activity will be seen in suprachiasmatic nucleus of hypothalamus and it is responsible for maintaining of circadian rhythm and sleep with sleep cycle maintenance okay so melatonin has this two activity okay now moving to the next part that is drugs drugs which can increase both mt1 and mt2 activity so remelteon and egomelatin okay see here this so melatonin indicating is okay so remelteon and egomelatin now these drugs can be used for the treatment of insomnia these drugs can be used for the treatment of maintenance of sleep cycle okay in sleep cycle in the patient of jet lag shift workers old patient depression like this now what are the pharmacokinetics of these drugs so they can be given through oral route but these drugs have very high first pass metabolism okay B oral viability is less than 25% and uh, nearby to 2% like this okay the oral viability is less than 25% okay in some drugs you can 
encounter only 2% oral viability so much less oral viability for this drug remeltion and egomelatin okay now liver metabolism is involved where no enzyme interaction present now what are the side effects so side effects are very less okay rarely it can cause increase in prolactin level and decrease in testosterone they are they are less effective than benzodiazepines and jet compounds okay uh, addiction potential is also lesser so in this regard it can be beneficial egomelatin use your major depression disorders and tessimilton use sleep wake disorders in blind patient okay so egomelatin and tessimilton